the time of the dinosaurs is considered very dangerous. Well, of course they were, there was something being eaten every day. Prehistoric predators ate everybody. Herbivores, carnivores liked themselves, insects, and some ate vegetation. We wondered if, at the time when dinosaurs ruled humans' life, how often would dinosaurs have snacked on losers who crawled out of the cave to pick mushrooms and berries? Chances are it would have happened often everywhere. But over time, of course, even the most harmless insect acquires and defense for such. What does a human encounter with the king of the dinosaurs T-Rex portent? Nothing good. A person can only hope that the T-Rex will approach and politely ask for directions to the bee library or ask for a cigarette. In reality, things would be much more tragic. Hunting instinct, that's what drove this giant predator. If it noticed someone moving in the bushes, it would attack instantly. If he smells a Neanderthal in a tree and in the territory of a predator, he has a sense of protection of his territory. It's just like with humans. You crossed someone else's border, you're a criminal and must be destroyed and then eaten. All predators were guided by approximately the same actions. Certainly man would eventually begin to look for ways to protect himself. The first way is to hide so that the predator loses his prey from sight, stops to smell the prey, or the prey would be at a distance beyond the predator's reach, for example hide in a tree, to swim across a deep river or lake, or to hide in a narrow barrel. Running away from a T-Rex was very problematic, because the speed of the predator was not insignificant. With a little more intelligence, men would begin to set traps for the T-Rex and similar monsters. For example, a huge hole studded with sharp stakes would be a good trap. Meat impregnated with strong poison would also serve a good purpose. In general, thanks to his development, man would have invented many ways to protect and subsequently hunt huge predatory lizards. Fire would have played an important role in the safety of the human tribe. Domesticated animals would have made excellent contributions to combat the various velociraptors and sarnosaurs. It is quite possible that there would have been attempts to tame wild lizards and both predators and herbivores. Nowadays people ride giant elephants, so it would not be surprising. In the Mesozoic era people rode Argentirosaurus and Diplodocus and for example the fighting machines against predator would have been Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. The evolution of our world would have changed slightly. It is likely that ancient men also tried to tame flying lizards, the pterosaurus. We on the other hand are taming and domesticating birds. From huge ostriches to small canaries, men domesticated pterodactyls. For example, could catch small rodents, thus benefiting society. And huge quetzalcatls, we've been in the role of herding and guarding livestock like dogs. Of course, these dreams have a downside. Local villagers are periodically attacked by predators. In Russia, it is bears, wolves, lynx and tiger. In America, it is crocodiles, bears, cougars and many others. In Asia and Africa, to there are an incredible number of attacks by all kinds of animals. You can be beaten by the most venomous snake in the world or the most poisonous spider, eaten by a leopard, trampled by an elephant or a rhinoceros, attacked by a shark or piranha. For example, the biggest leech might clean to you while you're swimming in a small lake. A while asleep your body might fall prey to a vampire bat. Insects, reptiles, all kinds of reptiles, animal both predatory and herbivorous, all pose a certain threat to us. But it's not their fault. 
It's our fault. We're the ones who invade their habitats. It is our sprawling civilization that forces them to change their way of life and territory. Bears, because of the lack of food, increasingly appearing in places where people live. Because of these attacks and humans occur. In the United States, for example, you can find crocodiles crawling in the streets and huge moose wandering on the sidewalks. In India, very often you can see huge clusters of monkeys, which also knows a threat to humans. Even stray dogs which gather in large packs and suddenly attack lonely travelers. In there are many such situations in our world, and if prehistoric predators lived near humans, the situation would be repeated. Humans would risk becoming prey to the ferocious Tyrannosaurus, the first Velociraptor. Humans would have to declare real war and crawling lizards, and the outcome of the battle would have been clear. An intelligent creature always has a better chance of winning. In strength and agility, of course, are inferior to Mesozoic predators, and also in sight and smell. But intelligence and cunning are the most important advantages over any predator. Let's look at man's options for defeating animals that pose a threat to his life. In the woods, a man was attacked by a huge grizzly bear. But here played a role resourcefulness and ingenuity. Man invented a weapon when, when he realized that his physical strength, he was not able to cope with the superior animal. And of course, ingenuity worked, the instinct of self-preservation. Man used a deadly weapon and defeated a huge bear. Another example on the prehistoric shark that attack a group of people. And here, too, it makes no sense to use force. Again, it's all about wit and cunning, and of course determination, which is important. As a result, the man again wins. Also, in such a battle, to win he had no chance. In this scene, a huge snake attacks a man. The weak creature faces the challenge of how to defeat the strongest opponent. In the end again, the man who is dozens of times weaker than the snake wins. And this is a man ant, a huge alligator. Well, that's it. No chance, you'll say. But it feels like the fear, the envelopes, the human brain revels in second breath. And man begins to think several times faster and finds the answer to his survival task. Victory again. For the man. A pack of wolves surrounds the lone traveler. They cannot be defeated by force, and the traveler knows it. He has to quickly analyze the situation, how he can stand up to such a huge number of predators. The answer comes and the decision is made. A small victory for this traveler. A group of military men are attacked by giant insects from the Jurassic period. A surprise attack. Insects always like to appear suddenly. The humans are confused at first, but then their instinct for self-preservation kicks in. And under the immense firepower, the insects take heavy losses and are forced to retreat. The human victory. Even this loses is still a victory. And there are many such situations. Yes, in most cases, men will be destroyed by a lion, ogre or a giant snake. But the death of one person makes other people think about survival. The law is simple. It's either you or you. Therefore, it turns out that the most important and ruthless predator on the planet is man. And no animal, no matter how strong it would not be able to defeat a creature called Homo sapiens. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to click on the bell to see the first and interesting releases from the channel Real Unreal.